I am not a fan of Batania. It's not something I've ever tried to hide, nor is it for any reason I can really point to in particular, or at least any one reason. Batania is just one of those mods that has never really interested me. And that's why it is so unfortunate, you mind, I'm trying to intro. As I was saying, that's why it's so unfortunate that in order to complete the next segment of my Astral Temple, I'm gonna have to dig really deep into Batania. But on another note, everybody, welcome back to Starsick. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm liking these sort of abrupt intros. I, I think they're uh, relatively all right, but uh, you know, it's, it's something that I'm working on. Uh, but yeah, welcome back to Starsick. Uh, if you remember in the last episode, as I was just talking about, I was uh, attempting to, if we just temp uh, teleport over to the Astral Temple, I was attempting to get started on the next segment of my base. However, in order to, you know, build the next segment of my base, uh, I actually need something from the Batania mod. Something known as Fungal Living Stone, I believe. Oh, never mind, a metamorphic fungal stone. And I had rightly assumed that the only way to get this particular type of stone was by mining for it in a mushroom field. However, I only really discovered at the end of last session that it's not a naturally spawning stone. So all of this was kind of just a waste of time. No, in order to make a uh, fungal metamorphic stone, we actually need to dip into Batania. Thankfully, not very far, but we do still need to dip into Batania. And the reason for that is it's a block that can only be achieved through the use of this right here, the Petal Apothecary. And to make the Petal Apothecary, we actually need uh, some of the Batania flowers. But more than that, in order to craft the flower that we actually need, which I believe is the... Murimorphosis flower, which is, you know, here. Uh, we need red petals, green petals, yellow petals, grey petals, a redstone root, along with two individual runes. And on top of all of this, in order to power the thing, we also need a mana spreader and one of these, a mana pool. All of which are made out of, again, Batania specific blocks, which can only be achieved by getting I'm um, what it, what I assume is called a shimmering white flower, white shimmering mushroom. Now I don't think that's quite right. What was the flower again? It was a pure daisy, which again you can only get through petals and a petal apothecary. So I think, all things considered, it's time I get started. In order to start all of this, we do need the petal apothecary. And as much as I would love to be able to just, you know, pop into all of these chests and withdraw all of the Batania items that I have meticulously gathered, I just can't do that because I don't have any Batania items, which means we are going to have to go hunting. So the main reason I've really come out here back to the shit shack is because we live in quite a flower rich area. And while these are very obviously not Batania flowers, it's more likely that I'm going to find Batania flowers in an area like this than I am, say, a desert where I set up the Astral Temple, or the Mushroom Biome where I've set up the Batania Hut. I've also come here because I wanted some easy cobblestone, but uh, shh, we don't have to talk about that. These aren't Batania flowers, but I'm taking them anyway because I know that I'll need them in the future. Because, uh... Okay, so, pause for a second, alright? Sorry if you can hear the fan going in the background, my computer's running at a thousand miles an hour, and there's nothing I can really do to slow it down because I don't know why. But just look for a second. Right there. Do you see that flower? That very strange looking flower. That right there is a mystical green flower. Not a mystical lime flower. Not a mystical light green flower. This is a mystical green flower. And I want you to remember that as you watch this video. 
I want you to remember that there is a mystical green flower, a patch of them, right outside my house. Okay? Okay. Uh, I, I didn't really plan out the schematic for the next part of my base very well, and unfortunately it did catch some of the terrain around it, meaning if I don't give it the cera blossoms or whatever it is it needs, it's just going to throw a hissy fit and not build. So I feel like it's just easier to pick it up now and avoid the hassle later. But would you look at this? I, I didn't even have to do another jump cut. We just run straight into some mystical red flowers, which is... Interesting, actually. I, I I don't recall them being here, but, you know, I probably wasn't paying attention last time, so, you know, whatever. Let's harvest them. Ah, I seem to recall now that you can't actually break these tall ones without, uh, without some shears, and since I don't fancy going to get some, we're just gonna leave the tall ones alone. I nearly walked past this, the mystical lime flower. I don't know if we need lime, because I've completely forgotten the list that I said out loud not even like 10 minutes ago, but... Okay, we need green, we don't need lime green, so unfortunately that is kind of useless, but... You know, it's better to have it than not, I suppose. And we've got some mystical blue flowers over here, quite a few of them actually, which is very lovely. I am just gonna quickly eat a bunch of this food, because I don't know where it's come from. Oh, look at that, I gained a heart. That's what I was saying, I don't know where it's come from, and it's just filling up my inventory, so I think it's better if I just gobble some of that down now. I'll be taking you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. I never thought I'd be picking flowers in Minecraft. I've become a flower picker. I- I'm- I've become a flower picker. Oh! Oh, you're- you actually become hostile when you get attacked! Okay, I don't think I've ever tried attacking one of you before. I didn't realize you'd become hostile. Well, I mean, you're dead now, though, so it doesn't really matter too much, does it? And it looks like we've just found a mystical purple flower, which is absolutely brilliant. So let's just let's just throw out some of this inferior essence because you know, it's inferior. <laughs> <laughs> While I'm here, I'm better off trying to grab one of these lily pads, actually, now that it's come to my attention. Because my uh, the next part of my base actually requires quite a few lily pads, and I don't want to have to come all the way out here to grab them again. So, you know, I'm investing in the future. Okay, we've got some mystical magenta flowers over here. But I am running out of things to throw away. I'm sure I could do without the five diamonds. <laughs> Kidding, I'd never do that. I'd... I, I would hate myself. Let's get rid of the grave dust. We can always get plenty of that. All we have to do is die. It's not like that's very hard. And would you look at that? Another Gehenna gate. Gladfully destroyed. Just like the side of this mountain, apparently, actually. This is... Kind of wild, not gonna lie. I might build something here. This place looks kind of cool. Blast Protection 8! I didn't even know you could get enchantments that high. Oh, we found some mystical white flowers. These are exactly what we need, but they're two blocks tall, which means I can't harvest them. I don't have any shears. Uh, we're gonna have to keep looking. At least there's a ton of magenta flowers nearby. Now, what are you? Faint amaranth. You're a... you're an astral sorcery plant. I'm not... I don't remember what you're used for, but I know you are used for something. Can I take you? Oh, it's glowstone. And eh, never mind. And we've got some black mystical flowers. Or at least we did. How did you survive that? I'm not sure why I was carrying around 39 mushrooms, and to be honest, at this point, I'm afraid to ask. Must have accidentally slipped some out of Ruby's pocket when he wasn't looking. <laughs> Can you accidentally slip something out of someone else's pocket when they're not looking? Isn't that just... I don't know, sleep pickpocketing? Whatever, I, I don't want to think about this too hard. Okay, and we've got some mystical orange flowers. These are actually a lot more common than I thought they were going to be. And that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying, from what I read, I thought these things were a lot rarer. Boop, beep, bop, bop, beep. I've turned into the bloody checkout at Walmart. 
That was a terrible joke. Oh my god, it's one of you! I remember you! You're so cute! Oh my god, how do I take you with me? Oh my god, you're so adorable! <laughs> I want it! I want it! But you know what I want more? Some white mystical flowers. That was a total lie. I would much prefer the cute chipmunk fucking thing, but um... Anyway. Da 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 Superhero landing! Booyakasha! Hey! <laughs> but now we're back at the mushroom fields, we can actually get started on making... Uh, this bloody marimorphosis thing. So in order to make this, we need the petal apothecary, which is... Four f cobblestone, two slabs, and then a petal. So let's get that done. Slab, slab. Cobble, 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 cobble. And we can use a magenta flower because... Well, apparently we can't use a magenta flower. Let's try it with some mystical magenta petals instead. Or is it going to force me to use a white one? <laughs> Modern America. Don't bother trying to ask me what that joke means because I've got no idea. <laughs> I'd just come outside and I was about to start, like, you know, saying, Oh, but now with all of my stuff safe in these chests, we can move on to actually doing the petal apothecary stuff. And I come outside and all of the trees have grown. And that, that, that kind of just ruined the view. So, uh, I, give me a second to just take these down. And done. There we go. Okay, so I don't really have... A designated place to put this. I just built this so it would look cool, I guess. I do want to get some uh, Silk Touch again pretty soon because the Silk Touch pi uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. The Silk Touch pickaxe that I used to get the grass for this place because the cannon for some reason wouldn't accept just plain dirt ended up breaking with the amount of grass I gathered. So, you know, I, I didn't really get the chance nor really think to use it on the mycelium, which is a shame, but you know. I'll figure it out eventually. Okay, so step one to using the Petal Apothecary is I need to actually fill it up with water, I believe. And if I'm remembering correctly, an annoying thing about the Petal Apothecary is that it it uses up water each time you use it, so it's advised to have an unlimited water source nearby. Plop that down like that, and then break this, and then this, we should have an unlimited water source. There we go. So if we plop the water down in here, the next step, I believe, is to make a pure daisy. And to make a pure daisy, I need four mystical white petals. So, so let's go grab some of those. I always seem to grab, like, one more than I need. I picked up five mystical flowers when I was, like, looking for them. And I only need four. In fact, I don't even think I need that, because it gives you double for each flower. So let's just, uh, I don't think we need the actual flowers for anything, so let's just turn these all into petals, and then it's one. No. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go, it's in there, you can see it appear above my, uh, hit marker thing. I have completely forgotten what that's called. Anyway, let's throw the next three of these in, so that should be two, three, and four. And then it's asking for some seeds. And I don't know if I have any of those. <laughs> you know, sometimes I do have to wonder where Ruby is when I do these things. This is meant to be his job. Punching grass to get seeds is his thing, not mine. Okay, at least I got a seed that time. Because in case you were wondering, quite on brand for us, we didn't have any in the chest room. Okay, so we're, we're back at the Petal Apothecary. And... We just need to throw the wheat seed in here. Now, the smart thing here would be to EMC the seed so that we don't run out accidentally, or so that I don't have to go punching more grass to find some. But since when have I ever wanted to do the smart thing? Into the soup you go, and we have a pure daisy. Which is purely radical, bros! <laughs> <laughs> Can I get an amen, brother? <laughs> hey! Why do I do these things? But anyway, the next step to using the pure daisy is actually to surround it, uh, at least for our purposes, with cobblestone. And I believe we also do need to do a wood one, but I don't remember if it's oak wood that I have to use, or if it's oak planks. So for now... I forgot, you can't put daisies on mushroom. Give me a second. 
Okay, so let's put some dirt down here and let's put down the pure daisy. And in time, this should convert the cobblestone into, uh, well, into, into living rock, I believe. Hello, Mr. Mushroom. Did you know I just got that bit wrong? It's not cobblestone, it's just smooth stone. So give me a second while I go smelt this. And we're back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And there are the particle effects I was waiting for. You see, this is why I was confused over whether it was cobblestone or smooth stone. Because if you use smooth stone, it gives off these really cool particle effects. And there we go! The process is complete! Sorry I didn't provide much exciting commentary when that happened. <laughs> it caught me off guard, I was actually eating <laughs> I was eating a mince pie. And uh, I, I had to quickly gobble it down uh, as this thing was converting, so uh, yeah. But anyway, excitement time we have living rock! We're one step closer to getting the stone I actually want. Yay! Now, in order to make the Morimorphosis, I need Grey magical petals, yellow magical petals, green magical petals, and red magical petals. And I have red, and that's about it. So, uh, we, we need to really continue our hunt for more petals, don't we? Ah, <sighs> there I go, jumping the gun again. <laughs> or at least, you know, killing the moon. That's, uh, that's a reference for all you, uh... My brain just stopped working. Either way, we're uh, we're hopping over to uh, what's this place called again? Mermaid. In order to grab us some more mystical flowers. I don't need celery right now. Okay, we have some mystical brown flowers here, which is good because I'm pretty sure this was one of the things we needed. Uh, no, it wasn't. Never mind. I'm just an idiot. Hey, pink mystical flowers. That that was one of the things on the list, right? This is one of the things we need. Surely, surely. Nope. Creeper! You see, I keep seeing these aura blooms everywhere and thinking that they're the yellow mystical flowers. I know they're not, but they're the only yellow flower that stands out and obviously isn't the default flower, so I keep keep getting really disappointed when I see them. Do you mind? I'm trying to I'm trying to hold a press conference here. Oh, yeah, it's another astral temple way out here. And it looks like this one's untouched. I don't know how far out I am actually, because I haven't really checked my map. This one's Vicio. No, I found grey flowers, but they're too tall. I can't harvest them. Is it the right type of grey as well? Okay, this is just grey. This is light grey. Okay, so it's not too big of a loss, thankfully. But still, that's really taunting. That is really taunting. Another one of these little blighters all the way out here, eh? God, these things really are everywhere. I'm sorry. Now this is disturbing. What was that achievement? Enter a grassy igloo. This is... This has got glass in it. This has got a bed in it. From the looks of it though, there's no underneath area, which is good. Still. But that would build something all the way out here. On a completely unrelated note, however, I am starving, and I have no food, which means I might die, which would be not, you know, optimal for my cur current quest. Being alive would very much benefit me greatly in this situation, so, uh, excuse me while I just raw dog this pork for a second. That really hit the spot. The G- Oh my god, these little things are adorable, but they are trying to kill me! My god, these crabs are so pretty! You're baby! You are baby, and I wish I could take you back with me. Same as that squirrel thing, you guys are absolutely baby, although you are kinda nippy, so... You know, that's kinda rude. Hold on, this is a grey flower, this is exactly what I need! Oh my- How did I not see that?! Oh my god! Okay, I've gotta make room for that, that's... ...really lucky. Um... I need to get my backpack out. 
I legitimately didn't see this thing. <laughs> like, at all. I was so focused on the crabs. Oh my god. But that is really lucky. So that's, that's what? That's one pedal down out of three? No, we have red, so it's one pedal down out of... No, no, it's two pe I, I, I know how to do maths. But that's two petals out of four. We just need to find a yellow petal and a purely green petal, and then we can make the rest of these. Uh... What? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I know what I'm doing. We can still make the rest of these relatively simply. We're fine. Oh, now this is interesting. I wonder what you've got inside of you. Air crystals, iron, and an ender pearl. Okay, never mind. You're not as interesting as I thought you were. God, I'm e I'm even slurring my words. That's how badly this headache is affecting me. I I can't even focus good enough to say like actual words. <laughs> I'm struggling to even form a sentence. And what the hell is that? Are you f Okay, so we now have some mystical yellow flowers. <laughs> oh my god. Right, we're just looking for one last flower, if I'm remembering correctly. We have the grey, we have the yellow, we have the red. It's just the green. We have lime, but we don't have green. <sighs> so let's go find it. Why is it specifically just green that is so hard to find? I found so many lime. Just give me actual green, please. Well, this certainly isn't what I was looking for. I stumbled upon this completely through, like, accident. But, uh... I mean, it's pretty, at least. Very pretty. Ow. <laughs> I'm so used to being able to fly, I forgot I can't. Oh, that was so depressing. I hate this. Oh my god. This is so boring. I hate Batania so much. All I need is one green flower. I have been looking for three hours. I just need a flower. The server is absolutely chugging at the amount of fr like <laughs> the amount of memory it's currently taking to actually run this thing. No way. No way! What can I throw out? What can I throw out? That- that cannot be it, surely. Oh my god! Are you serious? It was right here! I was genuinely about to do a bit like this, where I speak to the camera again and tell a shit joke, because every time I've done this, purely by chance, purely by luck or accident or whatever, the flower I needed was always behind me, or in front of me in case of the yellow one, but I was legitimately about to start speaking. And I, I, I did the, 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 the vein miner thing to get the, the wheat because I was hungry. And the fucking green flower appeared. Oh my god. There's more! I was legitimately about to leave. I was about to hook up to this. And go to a different place. Oh my god, that is such bullshit luck. Oh. Please tell me, it does, it has an EMC value, and you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna fucking do? <laughs> Let's go back to the Astral Temple. Let's pay a visit to our good old buddy, the Condenser. And let's make sure we never have to do this again. I would rather castrate myself <laughs> than pick flowers for another hour.
Okay, we've got 12 diamonds in here, which is actually pretty impressive. I have left this thing for a while. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this mystical green flower and put it here. Good enough. For the Murimorphosis, we need one of each petal, a redstone root, and two runes, so... Let's get on that. Thankfully, I had some grass left over from when I had to pick some up for the fucking cannon thing, so we at least have that. We need, uh, not that you would know why we need this, because I probably skipped past that part, but we need one piece of gla glass. What an, what an odd and weird world it would be that we would live in if grass and glass were swapped. I, uh, I think I'd wear socks a lot more than I do. And for context, I don't wear socks usually, even in shoes. Apparently we don't have any redstone saved up in any of our chests, so I am just going to have to quickly go mining for a bit, but hopefully it won't be too long. Redstone isn't exactly a resource we uh, decided to mine out of existence, so there should be some relatively nearby. Yep, here we go. And that's that. Let's pick this up. Ah, 55 redstone. Perfecto mundo. Oh, there was some there as well, actually. Grab that while we're here. No harm in doing that. Okay, so if we if we uh, if we plop the redstone down there, that should be everything we need in order to craft the uh, the redstone root. The last two things we need to craft are the rune of earth and rune of fire. Now, the rune of earth requires a block of coal, some polished gab. Oh no, this is just any stone from the looks of it. Uh, a runic altar, a mushroom which we have plenty of, some mana powder, and a mana steel ingot. Now, this is as easy to make as I was expecting it to be. All we need are a mana pool, like I explained at the beginning of this episode, and a mana spreader. And a couple more flowers, but we'll get to that in a minute. So in order to make a mana pool, we need a U-shape of living rock. So, let's grab the living rock from earlier. Let's turn this into a mana pool. There we go. Uh, I probably shouldn't throw that on the floor, but, you know... Eh. Let's put that there, and the next thing we need is a mana spreader, like I said. So in order to craft a mana spreader, we need living wood, a petal of any kind, and a bar of gold. Now to make living wood, I bel I can't remember if it's logs or a planks, so if you'll give me a moment, I'll just double check that. Okay, so good news is it is, in fact, logs that you need in order to, uh, create living wood. Bad news, I designed my- I put my daisy in a place that required me to be able to fly, basically. So now I'm gonna have to parkour to get up here. Uh, here we go, let's- let's surround this thing in wood. <laughs> that's not what she said or anything. ba 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 -ka. I think this headache is giving me, like... Delusions. I think it's making me deluded. I am becoming delusional. <laughs> there it is. We, we got there in the end. I was trying to say that the entire time, but for some reason I needed to conjugate it three different ways before my brain would let me say what it was I said. And I totally haven't already forgotten what I said. I need... I need sleep. I'm... I'm very tired. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's transforming into living wood. Hey, there we go. Nice. Oh, and the tree just grew. Perfect timing. We can replace the wood. Now, since we already have the blocks of gold on us anyway, I figure we can sort of just, you know, make this now. Uh, let's drop the pedal in there. We can throw that on the floor for now, and we can throw that on the floor for now. Uh, and then we can, I don't know, we can put that in there, and then we can, uh, what else can we put in here? Did I pick everything up? No. What? Oh, it didn't reach. Now we can throw that in there. There we go. Now what we do with this is we plonk it here, and I don't have my magic wand, so I can't technically see it launching uh, mana into this, but I don't need to see it because I already know that it's working, because trust me when I say I had to test this a lot on my single player world, because, you know, I don't know if I mentioned this yet or not, but um, I really fucking hate Batania. <laughs> But with the mana- oh. Really? I just started talking and you're- This- I really don't like you today. I really do not like you today. God, can you hear me? <laughs> On this one day in particular, I defy you. 
along with every other day, but I defy you more now. Anyway, as I was saying, now that we have this mana spreader and the mana pool set up, the next things we need to work on getting in order to make this thing actually fucking do something is a specific type of flower known, I believe, as a daybloom. Although I think they changed the name. Here it is. No, it's not a daybloom, it's an endoflame. And in order to make an endoflame, we need brown petals, light grey petals, and red petals. All of which I'm thankful that I'm pretty sure we have. We can just check really quickly in these chests. We have, uh, we have, we have brown. Okay, we have brown. So, we've got that covered. Do we have light gray? We have white. We have normal gray. I could have sworn I'd come across light gray at some point. Did I just not pick it up? Oh my god, I must have not picked it up. Do I seriously have to go flower picking again? Oh, what was the other thing that we needed? It was red. We have red. So we just need light gray, which honestly isn't going to be as much of a ball ache as getting the others. But, uh, let me just cut to when I've already got this, because man, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Yo, wait! <laughs> It took a moment to register. This is a light grey flower. We finally found one. Oh my god. Okay, I'll admit. Like, just straight up. That was so much harder to find than I was expecting it to be. Okay, so now that we've finally put all of that horror behind us, we can actually get started on making this flower. So, we need one red petal, one grey petal, and two brown petals. Now, I want to make four of these. So, I'm gonna need... Eight brown petals, four red petals, and four grey petals. So, I think the first thing we should start with, so I can just immediately throw things out of my inventory, is the water. So let's grab a bucket of water and put that up in there. There we go. Now let's grab the red flower. I need four of these, so I only technically need two flowers. So let's throw those in there. That's four reds. Uh, and then if we look at the recipe again, it's... Uh, Four light greys, so let's grab the light greys. Two of those, which means four petals, throw those four in there. If you don't leave me the hell alone, good sir. Thank you. Right. That's four red, four uh, grey, and the last thing it needs is eight brown petals. So let's grab the brown flower now, which... I think I put in a chest over in here, actually, so let me just go grab that real quick. And we can, uh, we can throw our petals into the apothecary. So, it should be four of these, which should equal eight of these. There we go. And we can throw that in. And now we need, uh, that, that should just give us the endoflame. D do I need, uh... Do I need the seeds? Is, is that what it's waiting for? Do I, do I need to give it some seeds? Hold on. Again, where is Ruby whenever I need the grass punching? This is meant to be his job. <sighs> you are pulling my leg! There is no way! I am genuinely considering... ...trying crying for a change. It's much easier than doing work. And it relieves so much pent-up stress. There were green flowers! Right here! The entire time! Because of course there were! Why wouldn't there be? After all, my life can't just be easy! No, my life has to be nothing but pain and suffering! Oh, we love that. We really love that. Oh, you can't help but smile. Really? You can't help but smile. Someone better pause the recording before I fucking start screaming. Okay, and... BAM. Why aren't you working? I- I'm... HOW DARE YOU! Okay, so the good news is you can just break this and it'll give you your stuff back. I was- I was wondering if it had just deleted all. Right, okay. You know what? Fine. If we can't just mass-produce magical flowers, let's do it the way they want it to be done. One petal 
and two brown petals. Right, one, one, two. Why did that not go out of my inventory? I said one, one, two. Okay, so that works. I guess it just had a problem with me trying to mass produce these things or something. There we go. Electric magic. Make a generating flower in a petal apothecary. So what these things do is they basically power this, which pours mana into this, which is what we throw iron and glowstone into to make the mana steel dust and ingots, which we use to make the runes, which we use to fill this up, which we use to turn on the flower that we're trying to make. So let's just throw that down and let's go make the other three that I wanted to make. The next step is literally just to throw coal on the ground. And as far as I'm aware, this thing should start eating the coal and igniting, which is sending mana into the mana pool. There we go. Let's just throw some more down. It's not going to take it right now, but... You know, it's insurance for the future or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, while this is making mana, we can move on to what is hopefully... Hopefully... The last step, God, I, my headache is killing me, man. We can move on to what is hopefully the last step before we can make the actual flower that I wanted to make. Just so I could get the one specific type of stone I decided I wanted to build my base out of. Oh boy. Now luckily for us, I know exactly where we can find glowstone. If... Wow. The server's really chugging today. I'm genuinely surprised. The server has never been this bad. Ever. Not once. And I'm not sure what's causing it. I think it might just be the amount I've explored, to be honest, trying to find the fucking flowers. But let's take the glowstone out from under here. We don't need that much. We just need enough. And then let's head over to the shit shack to grab some iron, and then we should be Gucci. Don't quote me on this, because I've never actually done this before, but I'm pretty sure the next step is just to... Uh, throw them in. So... Yeet! Ha <laughs> ha! As the kids say. There we go, we got some mana powder. So if we throw this in... It gave me two, which means I think this actually ran out of mana. So let's just throw some more coal down for it to consume. There we go. And then we can throw the rest of this out. And that should convert one by one, hopefully. Okay, that was the last iron ingot, I'm pretty sure, or at least that was the last mana ingot that got converted. So, since this thing has coal around it already, I'm just going to leave this to start filling up the mana pool, and I am going to finally get started on the last part of this, before I can finally get the fucking Morimorphosis flower. Now, to make the runic altar, thankfully all it takes is some living rock and either a mana diamond or a mana pearl, and to get those, you just throw the corresponding item into the mana pool. So, what I'm gonna do, since I already have some on me anyway from our visit to the, uh, uh, Astral Temple, is I'm just gonna throw a diamond in here. And I'll wait until that does its thing. I'll just- I'll keep throwing coal down here so these things stay lit. As the kids say. And I will start work on getting more of that living stone, or whatever it's called. Hopefully this doesn't require any extra things to work, because I will- Genuinely blow my fucking brains out, but if we plonk this down next to the mana weaving not the mana weaving altar, that's that's something else. The the petal apothecary, let's let's put it down I don't know, let's put it here. Oh that's kinda pretty. I'm guessing I just right click the items onto here, right? So I need gunpowder. I need uh the uh mana powder. There we go. I needed a mana steel ingot. And then, uh, what were the other things I needed? It was nether brick and nether wart, which I can quite easily get because we do have a nether portal in the underneath of the shit shack. So if we just quickly hop down here, we've already found a fortress once and considering how much redstone I have on me, it shouldn't take too long to fly over there. But okay, now that we have them, we can apply the last two ingredients for this rune. So that would be the nether wart and the nether brick. 
excuse you? Why does that not equal a, a, a rune? Why are you not... Please don't do this to me, why are you... <laughs> why are you not giving me a rune? Why are you X'd out? What was that noise for? What? Did I miss something? Uh... Oh god damn it, I missed something, didn't I? Okay, so I figured out what I missed. I think. This is what I get for not making a wand all the way at the beginning and thinking I could just be clever and skip that. But no, I can't, so fuck me, I guess. I need to make something called the Wand of the Living Forest, or something equally as gay. Stick, stick, stick. Petal, petal. Now we have our Wand of the Forest. Lois, if us, we did it. Ba, 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 ba. Two blocks, two blocks, just to make it even, because apparently we need to put this thing down by the... Mana spreader, and then we need to link the mana spreader to this fucking thing. Then we need to put a block of living wood on top of it. I'm guessing like that, and then right click it. Or not. Maybe they were just lying in that post, I guess. How do I. That's not what I wanted to do, game. Right, okay. Let's try this one more time. We need the nether ward. We need the Brick of Nether, otherwise known as the Nether Brick. I don't know why I said that weird. We need some Mana Powder. We need the Mana Steel Ingot. And we need... Ah, shit, what was the last thing? So let's just chuck this down here. It's still saying no, but in answer to that, I say, where's my coal? Alright, do your thing, Fire Flower, and give me enough Starlight to get a rune. Wait, is that actually working? I can't tell. Oh, it is! It's like a, a clock! Oh, that's gonna take a lot of mana. Are you serious? Well, hi-ho, hi-ho. To get some coal, I go. Okay, and we have our runes. Nice. You know, I've just done that thing again that I did earlier when I couldn't react to that because I was stuffing my face with food. Just as that finished completing, I'd eat <laughs> I'd bitten down on a chocolate chip bicky, so uh, I couldn't quite react. But, uh, yeah. We got our two fire runes, so, um, let's work on getting the other rune, and then finally, <laughs> I can be done with Batania. Okay, so the last runes ingredients are, if I'm remembering correctly, a block of coal, a block of stone, uh, then it was the mana powder, it was the mana steel ingot, and the last thing was a mushroom, so let's, uh, grab one of those. There we go. Or twelve, you know, twelve's good too. Yeah, 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 complain all you want, you're getting your stupid mana. And bish bash bosh, a piece of living rock, and the wand, and there we go, we've got the final two runes. The rune of the earth, and the one in there that's the rune of fire, which means, finally, we can craft the Morimophosis flower. Earth rune, fire rune, yellow petal, red petal, grey petal, and green petal. Oh, and the redstone root. Almost forgot. And finally, we throw in the seed. And there we go. The Marimorphosis flower. UMR. An ecstatic vivace. Make a functional flower in a petal apothecary. Right then. Now comes the hard part. I say, about to do the easiest part of the mod. Okay, so for those not within the know, or for those that don't know how the Morimorphosis flower works, allow me to quickly explain while I just set up the area in which it's going to work, for lack of a better word. 
The way it works is you plop it down next to a source of mana, and what it does is it converts any and all nearby smooth stone into specific Batania exclusive stones. One of which, the one that I did all of this for, is the one that I decided that I wanted to make my base out of, because out of all of the stone that I could find, it was the one that looked the prettiest, or at least the one that fit thematically the best with my base. And the reason I chose to do all of this in a mushroom biome is because the mushroom biome gives us the highest chance of getting the specific type of stone that I want. So, with that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, and on the outside, and all of that good stuff. The moment we've been waiting for. Let's go. And it's the first one. <laughs> it's the first one! Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. The metamorphic fungal cobblestone. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally! It feels so good! <laughs> oh, I've waited so long to get my hands on this thing. You can still hear it going on down below. Oh. We only needed one piece though, because... I'm- I'm 100% gonna EMC this fucking block to death. There is no way in hell I'm doing this over and over again, because the amount I require to build my base would drive me insane. And you can't hear it anymore, which means it's stopped. It's done. The Mari Morphosis, Morphosis, whatever you want to call it, is over. I'm free. I'm legitimately free. <laughs> and there we go. I'm gonna... I'm gonna come right out of the gate and say immediately, end of episode. I am absolutely exhausted. <laughs> I am honestly so tuckered out by that. That took a lot out of me. Um, but I hope I was able to edit this in a way that makes it entertaining. Um, yeah, normally I say, you know, I enjoyed this one, we got a lot done, and we did get a lot done, but... I really don't like Batania, so I'm just glad I finally got the stone that I was after. Hopefully in the next session we will return to our usual stuff, you know, we'll return to our starlight crafting and our base building and our yelling at the stars and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, until then, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like down below. If you if you want to leave a comment, then please do so, because I'd love to hear what you have to think about anything that's happened in today's episode. And uh, if you enjoy my content, period, then feel free to subscribe, you know? Because it, it's free, and it makes me feel better about myself, so I mean, you know, that's a plus. But uh, yeah, <laughs> with that out of the way, I'll see you, I'll see you in the next one. See you later, shitlords. Bye-bye. <laughs>